Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. Happy Holidays! Today I'm going to show you a delicious, easy quiche recipe perfect for Christmas morning or just any time or any occasion. Now this recipe is a very old recipe of mine and it actually can be found in my cookbook volume 1 or you can find the recipe on my blog at catherinesplates.com such a versatile dish you can do lots of things with this but I'm gonna show you my way and then we're gonna give it a try so let's go ahead and get started first thing we're gonna need to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees we're gonna take just a frozen pie crust or you can use a refrigerated pie crust and just put it in your pie plate now this is a nine inch and it's not a deep dish but you could use a deep dish for this it'll probably hold that much because if you have extra filling that won't fit into your pie plate you can always put it in a ramekin and cook the remaining mixture in that like I'm going to go ahead and get my burner onto a medium high heat just place a skillet on it I'm going to be cooking some sausage and it's just a breakfast sausage you can put ham or you can put bacon as long as your meat is cooked through it'll be perfect for this so I've got half a pound of some just a breakfast sausage now this is Jimmy Dean and it's just a mild version I'm going to start breaking this up now if you're going to place bacon in your quiche make sure that you cook your bacon first the ham all you have to do really is just chop up your ham and you can put that in there now if you want any other vegetables in your quiche like peppers and onions then I would go ahead and cook them with the sausage okay my sausage is no longer pink and all cooked through so what we're going to do now I'm going to turn off the burner. I've got some spinach here. I'm going to put about one to two cups of spinach in there. You know, spinach really just softens up probably be about two. This is just fresh baby spinach. If you want to use frozen spinach, you can just thaw it out and then squeeze out any of that excess water that's in there. I'm going to mix this up until the heat from the sausage softens that spinach now you can make these in advance and then freeze them you would make them and then cool them down completely and then put them in your freezer wrap them up really good and then you can take them out when you need them and heat them up in the oven take off all the plastic wrap and then place it in the oven and then you would just cook it until it's heated through now I've placed my pie plate on a sheet pan just lined it with some foil for easy cleanup that's just to keep this if it spills then it has somewhere to go and not in your oven I've got a ramekin sitting right here also it's about a four inch I'm just gonna spray it with some cooking spray because there's no crust in there so we don't want the egg mixture to stick I'm gonna go ahead and place my sausage and spinach into my pie plate and anything extra will go into my ramekin here now if you're using a deep dish this recipe will work for the deep dish but since I'm using just the regular crust I want to make sure that I don't have any spillage going on there we're gonna go ahead now and whisk up our eggs and some seasonings and some milk to make it fluffy I'm just using a very large mixing cup here that way I can just pour it into my pie plate if not you can just ladle it in from a bowl so I'm just going to crack my six eggs into our bowl. I'm going to add some salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, now this recipe has evolved and I've started adding other seasonings to it because it's just so yummy that way I've got some onion powder that I'm just going to sprinkle in probably about an eighth of a teaspoon 
some garlic powder. I want a little bit of garlic in there, so about eighth of a teaspoon. Very little. Be careful when you pour it. You don't want to overpower it. Just like that. And then, I love paprika in there. So, I'm going to add a little sprinkling of that. Now you can adjust these seasonings to whatever you like. This adds a nice color and also this is the smoked paprika so it'll give it a nice flavor. I've got a measuring cup here. I'm going to put in one cup of milk. Now I found some heavy whipping cream in my refrigerator so I'm going to add that. I'm going to top that off to one cup with some milk. Or you can use one cup of milk. Just going to pour that in to my eggs. I'm going to whisk this all up until it's well combined. got one cup of shredded cheese. Now that's just for the regular pie crust. So if you're going to be doing a deep dish, you can go up to one and a half cups. I'm going to sprinkle it over the sausage and the spinach. And then I put some in the ramekin also. Okay, I'm going to bring my egg mixture over and I'm going to start pouring it into my pie plate. Now we don't want to go over the edge. Oh, that's good right there. And then I'm going to fill up my ramekin here. Now the oven's been preheated at 375 degrees, so we're going to place this in the oven and bake for about 35 to 45 minutes. Now you want that egg mixture right here to be nice and solid before we pull it out of the oven. So if you need to give it more time, do that because you don't want to have a jiggly quiche. Okay, I've pulled these out of the oven at the 35 minute mark. I gave it a shake and it is solid on the top on both of these. So I just took a toothpick and I put it through the center of our quiche, pulled it out and it was totally fine. There was no left like loose egg on it. That's what you want to check for. If, the, if it's still kind of eggy, you want to put it back in the oven and cook it in a few additional minutes. I'm going to let these rest for about five minutes. Okay, I've cooled it down for a few minutes. It's still warm to the touch and that's totally fine. And you just want to slice it like a pizza pie. That is so delicious. I'd wake up for Christmas morning for this one here. <laughs> and you know, and to make it really easy, you can make these ahead of time, bake them off, cool them down, pop them in your freezer, wrapped up really good. And then on Christmas morning, pull it out. Just let it take the chill off a little bit, pop it in the oven. Breakfast is served or brunch, yeah. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and make sure that you comment down below. If you are new to the channel, you can hit the button here or in my description box. Go over here to see these two videos right here. I will follow you over there. And don't forget this recipe can be found in my volume one cookbook or on my blog, katherinesplates.com. Y'all go down in the description box, check out many more Christmas and holiday recipes. I'll see you on the next episode.